What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a circle face cam in Sony Vegas. Now just before getting into this video, like I say, this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request this tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now yes, he does say how to make a double face cam and how to make a circle, but it's on cookie cutter. I'm going to be showing you how to make the circle face cam. A double face cam will be in a separate video. Now on the screen right now is a video of mine from my gaming channel where I played a game known as 13 Days in Hell. So. As you can see my face cam is in the top right. I'm going to get rid of my face cam border. And now the face cam is left up there itself and we're going to make this into a circle. Now if you do want to circle face cam, I recommend to do it when your video is just raw. So you've got raw footage in, you haven't edited anything yet and you'll see why right now. So the way you do this, come to your face cam layer or, or video track and then select the event pattern crop. You'll then be presented with this. From here, make sure you have selected Mask. You also want to make sure Sync Cursor is checked and make sure you're right at the start of your timeline. If you come over to the side, you'll see right here, we have an oval shape. However, if you hold Shift and we drag out, as you can see at the top right and on screen on the masking, we're creating a circle face cam. So from here, it's positioned all good and well. Come up here to the Move tool and just position it to the center and just position it how you like it. Uh, there is probably good for me. And then after this, come to where it says preset. Call this circle face cam, I guess. Press the save. And this means every time you come back to edit a video and you want the circle face cam, you can press this down arrow and select circle face cam. And believe it or not, it is done. So if we play this through, it is now a circle face cam in that one position. Now, how do we move it around to put it in a position we like? Well, I recommend using track motion. This is the button right here for track motion. You select this. As you'll see, this is the default way my face cam is set up, but I can just drag this around wherever I want to. So if I want to put myself up there, I could be there. If I want to put myself down there, I could be there. Anywhere you'd like to. And again, it's a circle face cam, so you can literally put you wherever you want to. So play this through. We're playing right there. There's no sound because I'm not recording the sound of my computer. But there you go, you get the idea of it. Very simple to do and does look very nice. Now, moving on to the reason why I said you should do it when you have raw footage. It is very important. The reason for this, as you can see, we have this clip right here. But if I go set a clip right next to it, it's back to normal. Why is that? It's because we've done the event pan and crop and it's only for this particular video right here. So if I had my entire raw footage, I'll just drag it in for example. So as you can see, I've just put in the face cam raw footage. And if I come to the event pattern crop, come to mask. And then I come to the preset I saved, known as circle face cam. And you'll see I'm now in a circle as a face cam, the entire video just like that. It's going to be like that the entire video until I'm done. So that is why you should do it when you have raw footage. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I post four times a week. And finally, check out my Snapchat where I just show what I do throughout my day. See you guys, me Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.